Newcomers to Linux may be unsure about what tar files are and how to use them. So in this video, in less than two minutes, I'll tell you exactly what a tar file is and how you can utilize it in a Linux server environment. You can see on my screen here a file called df underscore 40 underscore 24 underscore Linux dot tar dot bz2. That is a tar file, also called a tar ball. A tar ball is a way of grouping files together, understanding tar and compression. Your basic .tar file does not have any kind of compression. It's simply a way of grouping files and directories together so that they can be conveniently downloaded or sent over email. However, you really won't see that many .tar files. Usually you'll see a .tar.gz file or a .tar.bz2 file. These are still tar balls. They're still tar files. But in addition to being grouped together, they've then been compressed. One with gzip compression, .tar.gz, and the other with bzip2 compression, .tar.bz2. So when dealing with these files, we need to know how they're compressed. In this case, my file is compressed with bzip2, and so I would simply use tar and then the xjvf option followed by the file name in order to unpack that tarball. So let's go ahead and do that now. Tar and then the xjvf option followed by the name of the file and then the enter key. This is going to take all the contents of that tarball and it's going to place it inside a folder that we can now see using the ls command. So you can see that I now have a folder called df underscore Linux. I can cd into that directory and I will be able to now see all of the contents that were once compressed into that tar.bz2 file. If you'd like to learn more about Ubuntu Linux, specifically Ubuntu Linux Server Administration, check out my Udemy course using the link below. 